Hi, Bernhard. Hi, Carsten. Another T-shirt, another day, right? <laughs> yeah. What are we doing today? Okay, so it's the replica network that we uh, deal with in this video. Um, and the replica network um, is for our inter-site, so odd site to even site storage replication, right? Mm -hmm. So it's two subnets, meaning two networks on each side, right? And we need to have routing in between. And it's not using RDMA, which uh, it, it, theoretically it could, but this would be not supported, right? Mm -hmm. um, and ideally, there should be no other traffic passing this, right? So yeah. that's um, uh, that's some requirements we have. So we are not doing all of it right now. I think the routing will come in a later video, for example, yes. right? And we'll also make sure that no other traffic is there in another video, but um, we'll set up the network. Um, and just to give you a graphics overview where we are at this is, uh, these are the two networks that uh, that we are talking of, right? So the purple one and the brownish, red, red brownish ones uh, on the other okay. side, <laughs> right? And um, which adapters are we are using or how are we baking this into? Um... Ooh, this is the first to think of the, uh, the slide. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so uh, we are using the, uh, the storage adapters for this, right? Because they are the most performant ones we have um, and we are adding two um additional virtual adapters on it and as you could see here um it's also pinned to the physical port um so we are doing a team mapping of the virtual adapter to the physical port right so that we know that REPL one or the virtual REPL one is passing port number one um behind uh, on the uh, on the rear of the server right so that we know that we get our cabling right okay Anything no. else you want to add? No, perfect. We switch okay. to the doing now. So we switch <laughs> yeah. back to my screen. Uh, you sh you know that already. A wonderful notepad and our PowerShell script here. Mm -hmm. So the script is quite similar to the SMB script. We uh, we have some constants here, and we have to know the IP address. So mm -hmm. uh, I copy this, and I'm on node one. So uh, mm -hmm. node one has the IP address fifty one. Mm -hmm. We use uh, the same IP address for every IP subnet um, because we can. So mm -hmm. then again, we need to define some uh, networks, our replica networks uh, and the VLANs. And again, mm -hmm. these are different in the in the two two sides. Odd, so, odd and oh, even. this is not not enough. I need this also. Yeah. I'll copy. So let's just set the. Uh, the variables right mm -hmm. then we have to grab our network adapters that we use this is for the team mapping mm -hmm. because in the team mapping we need the network adapter to map mm -hmm. to the hardware adapter so we mm -hmm. have to know them and then here is our ip we already know so we create a new virtual adapter um, mm -hmm. doing some ip magic here we disable mm -hmm. dns registration um, mm -hmm. we we set the VLAN on the adapter. We disable right. NetBIOS, right. And, and then here we have we still use I, our I, uh, IEEE priority tech. Mm -hmm. When everything went well, we don't need it here, but uh, we decided to do it anyway. I'm skipping. And then yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then we disable RDMA because we're not allowed yeah. to use RDMA on those adapters. And uh, mm -hmm. Replica is SMB three, so mm -hmm. it would. It would, if we would enable RDMA on these virtual adapters, it would use it. And then mm -hmm. we have our team mapping. So let's do that. Mm -hmm. So the team mapping for pinning it to the right physical port. Yeah. Okay. So it, it takes good. a bit because there are two sleeps in there or three. <laughs> let's see if uh, if this works. Yeah. Why shouldn't it, Bernard? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's only PowerShell. Of course, it works. Yeah, and we we do the same for the second adapter. Mm -hmm. And of course, I tested it. So yeah, we are wiser so now. We one... test the scripts before we see red. Okay. So, so your question. 
Uh, no, no new question. So the um, you have uh, done it exemplarily for node number one. Um, and um, behind the curtains, you will do it for the other nodes as well. Exactly. And um, as you may have seen, there is no routing in between at the moment. So routing will come later. Uh, we'll do if that. We do route often, print. Often. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we will talk about that later, yeah. but we have only really one uh, persistent route here, and that's the right. default gateway that usually uh, yeah. is pointing to the management interface or the router in the management mm -hmm. interface. Yeah. So nothing else is done here. Okay. Okay. No, all good. Should so be let's go to the next video, right? Mm -hmm.